Alright guys, um, you're welcome to today's tutorial. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to create a mobile app and then make money using AdMob. You can see this app here was created with AppCreator 24. So if you really want to know how to put all this button button, let me on my brush so you can be seeing it very well and clear for some of you that really want to learn how to create app and make money on AdMob, you can see all these are bottom buttons so if you would like to know how to put this button button most of you the, the uh, last um app challenge that will run I noticed that most of you uh, tried to put this but after everything you will find out that um, you're going to see something like this something like this but the icon will not show up you will only see round stuff there maybe blank round stuff something that will look like dot and it will not be able to show very clear as mine you understand so I'm going to show you the reason why your own appears that way now first thing that you have to have to bear in mind is make sure that this uh, this icon here is purely PNG it doesn't accept every other thing apart from PNG it must be PNG now for you to convert uh, image to PNG what you just need to do is you go to your browser if you go to your browser then you okay you enter um bg that is it bg remove that is background remover then once you open the background remover it's very very self-explanatory then next thing is to load the image there and it's going to remove the background for you once it's removed the background, then you can be able to now upload it directly to your to your app creator 24 so that it will appear very neat as this one. You can see this one appear very fine, very neat. You understand? So for it to appear like this, make sure that the icon is PNG. Okay. Um I'm going to also be including the PNG stuff on one application that I'm going to show you now okay um I'm, I'll be teaching you how to design app like user interface the color how to plan mobile app before you start building them okay so that you can be able to to create good looking app okay and I'm also going to show you how to promote your app so that it will reach more people and you know the more people are getting to, to uh, kind of using your app the more money you earn okay so for us to do that then we will need to create a new app now what kind of app are we going to be creating now that is another question and that is where people most of us do fail they will start talking that AdMob is a scam, they don't do this, they don't do that. It's not true. AdMob is really paying. And you can really open, uh, uh, create a mobile app with AppCreator 24 and make a huge amount of money from uh, Google AdMob. It's very, very simple. So the other time, someone contacted me asking me that, is it uh, most that you pay AppCreator 24 before they will allow your ads to show? It's not true. You understand? Let me show you something about this upgrade to 24. Let me just log in. You see this now. Here they say add free. This particular add free now, I'm going to click on it so you will understand what it means. Then there is you say your ad free isn't enabled because I have not paid any anything. Then they say in the app 
to without ad free we can include ads to 20 percent of all users to 100 percent if you don't use the option to put ads okay now if you activate the ad free service we won't place ads to 100 100 uh, first user of each day you can enable it from the ad free service section you can uh, you understand what this means now now if you can pay to upgrade to 24 and they will not show their own advert because each app that you create with them they must definitely they must surely put their own ad which is um uh this um stats app you understand so that the start.io that is the name of the platform which they use to monetize the whole stuff so what they do is the first 20% of people that is going to use your app by day, they, are, they will first of all show them their own advert before your own will start showing. That is what they mean. You understand? But if you pay them, like if you activate there and pay them, okay, they are not going to show their own ads again. Then the total number of users using your app will, will, will see your advert. That is what it means. It's not, it, it doesn't mean that you will not um, uh, make money from there or that kind of a thing. Or that you, it's the most that you have to pay before your app will, will show ads. It's not true. Okay. So I think I've answered that question right now. So now we will dive into the main um, point here, which we are going to be creating a mobile app so we can be able to see how we can design a good app all right now assuming that we are trying to design um uh something like um okay multiple like let's say e-learning app like let's just say uh english language like you want to create something like that like english uh mathematics uh something like that and you really want to fix something there so people can download the app and then read directly from your app so what you just need to do is you you start planning okay what is this app going to solve right now already what you're trying to create is something that will help people to to learn more like reading their books like i've noticed that um most people do research online than reading their books you understand they prefer reading directly from mobile app than reading directly from books so for that reason if you can be able to convert uh that particular textbook into mobile app i think it's going to go very far so and that is solving problem now for you to do that you first of all you start um like brainstorming how the app will look like the user interface where you create it so that it will look uh, matured okay uh, it, it at times most of you will create mobile app and the app will still look like like app created without creative 24 i myself i can personally design an app for you now it won't look like an app creative 24 like like nobody will notice that this particular app was designed with upgrade 24 so i'm going to show you how to do that right now so you can be able to start building your own app and publishing them all right now let's log into our app creator 24 okay now we are here we are going to create new app here now Then what are we going to name this app right now? Now let's say we 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 put uh, we enter something like um uh, learn more learn more app okay now we are going to put icon okay now we we will be browsing those icon. You can design your own icon the way you want it to be, alright? But I'm just downloading from internet so we can use it to 
do the stuff all right now you can see that this uh, this um this uh, image is under jpeg format so we are going to to remove the background right now we are going to remove the background so it will it will be only png now let's let's uh, upload you can see this is going to remove the whole of the background and then we'll now download it so after that we'll go back so that we can upload it to our app so it's going to be the icon of the app okay now you can see the one that um that is the okay this but the first one is the png and this second one is the one of uh, jpeg so let's select the one with a black background and then we're going to describe our app good now we we'll click on next then here now we are going to choose select the style for the app so here now it depends on the type of color that you are using you would, you would like to use you understand that kind of a thing but me for my own case i'm going to use this red let's use red to run our stuff here then here now i'm not going to choose anything because this is not where i will be building the app then for that reason i'm going to click on apps and then see it's here learn more apps none good then after this I'm, i will go to socialcreator.com socialcreator.com is also owned by um app creator 24 good so here now we are going to create create our own app then here now you also enter same thing that you entered the other side which is um learn more okay this is learn more uh -huh, good um we also select the icon which we have cropped and then fill in the app description learn more easily with um this app good now here we're going to select a red and then let's go to the app manager here is the app manager now what we just need to do now is we are going to 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 be linking um this social creator to our app creator 24 so what we just need to do is um we go to you click this uh, round this thing here now so once you click on it <clears throat> it's going to show you how your app the the design of the app you can see it here now you can see it uh, we have not started uh, designing the app so once you click it like this then you click here and copy the url once you copy the url you go down to to your app creator 24 open the the app and then go to section go to section you click on create section and then click on web and then here is where you're going to enter that, that stuff that you copied from there and then um well um, sorry here is where you're going to paste it and then let's remove this particular one here Uh, learn more okay then we will save this then as we save this now we are going to download this app so we can be checking it to see um, if we make any changes then we'll go down there to check for the changes if um, it will reflect and how it's going to also be looking like then here now you notice that uh, the app is not yet available they say we should try again in one minute so we are going to allow this for one minute so we can be able to download our app and then continue uh, from where we stopped right 
so we just need to wait for some few minutes they said one minute here but at times it will take you up to an hour for this app to regenerate so for that reason we will just need to wait for it okay okay you can see now the download is now ready then um, if you want to publish this app, this is the one that we are going to select. Though this is the one that we need, we will need to uh, to use to download. So, but for now we are talking about the app. Then when we, we are also going to publish this app on Play Store, so we are just trying to build it from scratch, so we can be able to know how to build it and also how you can publish your app, the right data to 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 collect from this particular uh, app twenty four, so you can be able to to. To publish it and the Google will approve it but most of this update 24 if you don't know how to enter the data on console they are going to reject your app okay so we are going to run video on that and that should be our next um, video so let's download this app right now and then install it on our phone then we'll continue our duty so we can be using it to check the design how it looks like what to change and what to add to the app okay so let's just wait for it okay can see I think it has been downloaded this is it so we need to install this app to see how it will look like if we open it with our mobile phone okay good now let's open it to see how it look like can see um now this is it this is the app now what we are going to be doing now is that we are going to to terminate this um we're going to terminate this remove this remove this particular place all this stuff and then make it in a way that it will look matured so that nobody will notice that um this stuff was created with app twenty four because most of people like see once they see this or this they will say ah this one is um app twenty four apple you understand so for that reason we are not going to be allowing all these things to be in our app so how do we change all these things I'm going to show you the step by step guide on how you can change that kind of thing okay <clears throat> now here we are we will come to design. Once you get down to design, you get to menu type. We are going to click on without menu, without menu, then save. Then we'll go to our bottom menu. This is the bottom menu. That is, if you want to put this particular button here. wait for it to open I'm going to show you something now for you to put this a uh, button but you know what I mean by button button this is button button here for you to put all this stuff here hmm? then see see how to set it you come to this button button here click on it and you're going to see here you put click yes and once you click on yes, all this stuff here will now open for you to put your own um, icons and rest of them, title. Then you we are going to select first icon. Then maybe um, what we want to put there should maybe something like, um, uh, let's say you are trying to put, uh, okay, already we are working on subject okay now let's 
talk is a look for English. Uh -huh. mm. English uh, text textbook. Uh huh. Textbook um image. Then you put PNG at the back. You see? Now what do we do? Let's select this particular one and download it. Now let's look for how we can change the background of that stuff now. Okay, let me just upload it directly now so that you see how it will look like if you do not crop or remove the background. Now let's go to, to here and then select that particular icon which we just downloaded. Okay, this is it. We're going to click on it now. And then we put the title which is English. And then what will happen after that? You see that you, you put it to web or you open a section. So for now, we are going to leave it to none because we are just trying to test something. Then now let's um, save this. Then after saving it, we'll go back to general. Go back to name and sorry, um, we'll go to section. I mean. Click on this lane more and go to advanced settings. This is the advanced settings. Here we're going to um, enable put the refresh. This is it, put the refresh. Then after this, we are going to now save it. Then let's now check the app to see what will happen. Remember, we've changed the the menu type to none okay you see it now that upper side uh, disappeared and if you check here now if you check here now and you notice that this button is not showing very well you know it's not good like this it's not showing at all okay so for you to do this that was what I was trying to tell you that time for this to appear very clean and neat see what you do you go back you go to p to uh p um background removal which is here and then upload the image here then after uploading then you download the stuff now that we have downloaded it we are now going to remove the other one and upload this particular one to to that uh, bottom menu and then we check it to see how it looks like. Then let's remove this one and choose another one, which is the one that will just cropped or remove the background right now. Now let's save it. Now that we have saved it, I'm going to pull this to refresh. That was the setting that we gave to it before. Uh huh. Okay. Now let's remove it, clear the cut, and then um, launch it again. You can see it now. You can see that um, this stuff appeared better than the other time. Okay. Now we are going to change the back the background color of this uh, this button now. Let's change the background to to red. For you to do that, you come to this place and change it. Now, maybe you see something, so uh, maybe app that you like the background and you really want to use the background, or that kind of a thing. The app that you like and you like the way. The, the way they design the app like let's just open this one of these apps here okay this is black and white 
let's look for any other apps that um, look nice okay let's say facebook oh, is it facebook or if any other uh, let's check other app here to see mm -hmm. which other app here okay assuming that you like this color now and you you don't know how to apply this color or maybe you don't know how to get the color what you just need to do is once you open the place you just screenshot it like this and after this screenshot what you just need to do now is you go to to play store and download the color picker color picker you can see it here color picker then once you open it Once you open it like this, then you click this uh, uh, three dots at the upper side of this um this uh, app, and then click open image. Here we're going to lo launch that particular image, which we screenshotted. And this is going to tell you the name of the of the um I mean the name of the of the color. So once you do this, what you just need to do is for you to copy the this color now, just click anywhere around this area, then it will be copied. Then go back to your creator studio and then watch it all right now let's go to the uh bottom yeah to design and then go to bottom menu here now we'll go down 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 and then select custom and paste paste that stuff that you copied this is it and text color allow text color, color to be white then how do you uh, put white code just put f f f f f f f f to that and then save it then now we'll go back to the app to see if there is changes you can see it now the the color of the bottom menu has changed you can see it now you have changed to that particular color which we copied from that uh, color picker now let's add more of that um of this icon let's get more more from place uh, from google okay now let's say we are putting contact us uh, button contact us button and you get down here here now we're going to select any icon that will match um that will match what we are using it for so now maybe i'm going for this stuff here uh i'll copy and download the image after downloading the image then i go to bg remover and remove the background this is it here then after removing the background we will now download it Now we'll go to bottom button to put it there. Um now let's choose menu um uh, icon. This uh, no um this is it here and then we we'll put a title contact us. 
then we're going to save this now now let's refresh this and see um, okay maybe we we'll remove it like this and then launch the app again so we can it can um, automatically grab the data from um, okay you can see the contact us button appeared here very nice and neat okay so that is it you can put up to five buttons there you can put up to five buttons there okay now this is time for us to start putting um, content to this uh, this app now okay so maybe the design that we may be putting may be something like this something like this all right now for you to do this then we are we are we will go to social creator which is here and then we'll go to to create section here now we are going to use um free menus and free sections and then click on here to put the title uh, let's say free menu free menus and then we click this empty template here 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 now that is where we're going to click edit to save and once you save here we'll start adding new rows here we'll click on new row and then choose the kind of stuff that we want to build there okay Now let's put click on button. You can see it, once you once you select button like this, you click on create, and then you get down here to put the name of the, the button, which should be let's say um, English language. Um. Then the round corners level one then link let's just leave it like this then border let's put border yes and um shading okay let's just leave it this way even the sizes and then we are going to save this right now let's save this okay now let's also add another button there another row click on choose and then select button again create the button and then enter the name of the button let's say biology and then this um, border let's say yes and leave the other rest and click on save good then let's go to the app and refresh to see what will happen you can see it now you can see it now english language biology and but the stuff is not looking nice like, like it's not normal like it's not fine to our eyes so what we just need to do is since we are using this um sky blue color here we are also going to use the whole color within throughout our app so it will look very nice All right now we just need to to get the code of that um to get the code of the color which is it and then we'll go to our social creator go back to the section and here is where you're going to be changing the whole thing here you can select the custom and you start changing it then background page you paste it here paste it here so good now you will, you will see text color text color should be white just leave it fff like this then background color for items um okay let's say the background color should be 
Okay, let's leave it white. Good. Then we are going to save it now. And then check the look of the app. Let's refresh. Okay, you can see that um, the stuff changed. You can see it now. Then we are also going to work on that button again so it can appear very neat. Good. Now let's go back there and change uh just change the color of the text color to green to green and um background color of the item to be Mm, what what should we use okay to be white uh-huh okay let's say we use um uh green there and then the text color to white let's save and then see how it will look like let's refresh it you can see it now but if you check this upper side of the screen, you will notice that the stuff is conflicting here. It's very, very fucking conflicting. What you just need to do is, you're going to separate it. How do we separate that? We, we click on back and then go to the free menus and add. Maybe you add image or something. Okay. Let's say image from file create and um we are going to choose the kind of file that you want to want to show there. Okay. Then maybe we are going to select um let's check this out. And uh, alignment should be centered. Okay. Uh huh. Nothing again. Okay. Then let's save. But now we are going to drag this stuff oh oh there is something that we just need to do here we just need to to drag this to the up like if you're using your your laptop you can drag this cause each time you add row it to be added below you understand to be adding below but this time around if you if you want to shuffle it like move this one to to the top you can use your mouse to drag all of them but if you're using mobile phone it will be very hard for you to drag it so but what i'm just going to do now is let me just delete this particular one and see if it can work here like clicking this plus button of this side and then choose the image again from file create and then locate the file which should be um, let's use this and then center it and let's um save let's save it okay now let's go back to the app and refresh to see what will happen if you check you see that um the button has a kind of been shifted you can see so you can put any design there 
you can put any design there okay and why putting the design you make sure that um that uh, the image which you'll be putting at the upper side of this stuff here the color will be the same thing with the with the background okay assuming that you know you notice that the, uh, the the edge of this image is here is um black now let's choose the uh the background to black like a kind of dark mood let's see how it's going to look like now um let's select dark mood Uh -huh. good and then um, now let's save it refresh you see you see the, the image rhymed normally you can see it now so I think this is nice now for you to put um, for you to make this button also dark mood what you are just going to be doing is you you, you reduce the, the the light of the um, i mean the thickness of that black color and you will see that uh, it's going to work then the, the background color of the item let's let's select uh, this particular one here all right and uh, okay the title color is white the background color is um it's uh okay this color white this okay now let's save this and check how it's going to look like you see i think this is also nice this is very nice now this is how you can add all this kind of a thing within your app nobody nobody on earth will see this particular stuff here now and notice that this app was created with app creator 24 it is not possible nobody unless someone who is already into the system will open this app and then notice what is going on there right so you you need to create your app in a unique way like make it off from what other people are creating okay so and um i will also be ruling you guys on how you can use code to design up so it will look very nice and also unique from what others are doing okay so that is it then now we are going to assign function to all this um uh, button if you click any of this button and you notice that uh, it's not going taking you to anywhere it's not taking you to anywhere it can only take you to the white background so no, it's not showing you anything now for you to assign function to this button what you just need to do is you go back you go to the social creator then go to that create new section create new section maybe maybe you want um Maybe you want the button to take you to to English uh, dictionary. Then let's look for it. We are just kind of dangling to see how we look like. Oh, it's not. Let's go to English dictionary. Mm -hmm. then let's open this site copy this go back then paste it here then you can also control the uh, image here and then save now let's refresh the app you find out that whenever you click this English, it will take you to that site. It's going to take you directly to the website where we we'll assigned it to. Okay. 
okay let me do something let's click it again oh sorry we did not link the button sorry 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 we only created the session now for us to link the button to this english dictionary you go to that free menus and locate the particular button which is this one of english click on it and then it will take you down here where you can select link this place is said link if you check it where you see link here which is already no okay now we are going to change this no to web um to a section open a section you can see it now now we are also going to select the particular session where it will open to where then we select the english dictionary and that is all we now save then when we get to the app when we get to the app if you click the english dictionary it will take you to that um to, you can see it here just that the web page is not even available otherwise you will see it showing up okay so that is how you can handle and just use your sense use your common sense and create something that will help others okay and then you mount your ads now let's put ads on this uh, this uh, app let's uh, let's put um let's put uh, this um what is the uh, test ads then you open here where you're going to copy the the banner here we're going to copy banner you can put banner interstitial but we are, this is just for tutorial purposes this particular thing now you're going to replace it with your with your own royal banner banner ad unit then click on these ads i hope everybody knows how to do this one and paste it here the one of banner and that is just it you save it then let's go back to the app and then refresh to see if we can see the text ad displaying on our mobile app okay maybe we'll, we'll release it and then open it again Okay, it's not showing right. Okay, maybe we'd not assign position for it. Let's um look for it there. Okay. Sorry for you for you this art to show you're going to put um add uh, test okay you can see that in order add more to appear it required that you enter app id in general name and icon okay for you to do that you go to general name and uh, name and icon and you, when you scroll down you're going to see uh you're going to see uh, something where we're going to put our our app ID where 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 is it oh this is general and this is um uh, up and name and icon okay here this is where we're going to put it you see add mob app ID maybe we'll just paste that same thing here for this is just for tutorial purposes and then save Okay, they say app ID is not correct. Example. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll still look for for text. Um, app ID here. How do we locate the app ID which this will use here? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
text add app id text add app id okay maybe we we'll get more one from here okay let's copy this do not copy from here if you are trying to to show to use your own if you want to use your app id you go to your ad mobile to collect your app id so that you will not come and tell me that the ad is not showing then let's paste it and then save oh this is um is, is this still showing us error uh -huh. what this is add unit app i don't app id okay this is the, this first one here is the app id Okay. Let's copy it and go back there. Let's paste it here. I think we can we are good to go now. Then we have saved it. Remember, this is just for texting the ad with us running the text ad. Okay. Maybe we'll give it some time for it to start showing. At times, you may put your own real ad and it will not show at that moment. It will waste much time before it will start showing up, especially if your AdMob account is still new. But this um test ad supposed to be showing up right now and immediately. Okay. That is by the way, sir. Okay. Maybe we'll wait for it for a few minutes. It's still going to show. Though we are also going to make a video on how to um on how to set this stuff like sometimes you notice that uh, your uh, your app will stop showing ads even though I've been showing ad or getting to some understand like that the ad will stop showing up so. I'm going to run a video for you on how to fix that particular one and also I'm going to show you the course and how to settle that it's very very simple okay so in case if your app stops showing ads you understand so you just use this method to wipe it off so and that should be our next video so okay then let's go back to the ads to see what we are not doing good here let's get that uh, test ad again we are copying banner We go to undo. That is it. Add more. Then the position position should be bottom or top. Anywhere you want to show, you can show at the upper side or at the bottom side of it 
okay then let's also put our interstitial let's copy this and put the interstitial this is it here and then we save after saving this maybe we we'll want check our app to see if it's going to be showing okay the new version of this app is available you can see now that um before this is what i'm going to be showing you guys now Be whenever you are building your app before you download it make sure that you have included your your ads before you download it so now i'm going to download this particular version this is the new version of the app okay so whenever you are building app and you are done building the app maybe you have downloaded it to your phone and at last you now add your uh, your ad you now put your ad and the, the ads is not showing just mind you that the version you are using is far different from the version that has your code that has your ad mobile ad mobile code okay so what you just need to do at that moment is either you download another uh, uh, you, you go straight and download it again and uninstall the one that you have already it's just as simple as that then let's locate it and then install it on our phone i think it should okay it stops the thing stopped downloading it maybe we go and download it ourselves let's download the app again but before we do that we just need to to remove this particular one we are just going to uninstall it and then download this version just need to wait for it to download and then we'll install it all right now let's open it and install it this version now should have our ad showing The installation in progress okay then let's launch our app to see if the ads will show or not let's wait for it the reason why it will take longer like this is because this is the first time of launching the app then maybe the next time now it's going to load very fast right you can see that the art is now showing at the upper side of it and that was where we, we selected maybe we'll go there now and change the position go to ads go to add position and, and tick bottom then save so i this is just experiment i just showed you guys uh the way so that you guys will understand that whenever you are installing app make sure you have your your ad mobile ads already before you download the app and install it otherwise it's not going to show because the one that has your ads units is different from the one that you are the, uh, the one that you installed okay so that is just how to how to resolve ads not showing you know, because most of you will still come back here and add, tell me that the art is not showing this and that. I just use this text ad now to show you the simple reason why your ad refused to show. The reason is because the version that you installed on your phone is different from the version that has your ad, your ad unit. So delete the one that you have on your phone 
and go back there to in, to download another one from upgrader 24 install it and you see your ads showing then if after this and it still not show that means probably the problem might be from your admin account or from maybe your your admin has little issue or maybe you are serving ad limit at that moment okay so now we have changed the position of the ads let's see where it's going to show right now you can see it's now showing at the bottom you can see it now so at times um after installing the app and the ad is not showing maybe you change you use this pattern which i which i just showed you now and it's still not showing use another device okay use another device to open the app and watch it so thank you for watching today's tutorial on how to create mobile app the ui to change the color put the buttons and also how to get your ads showing on upgrade 24 so you can make money using AdMob. so if you like what we are doing here hit on that subscription button and then turn on the notification bell on so that next time whenever i drop video like this you will also watch it on your youtube home page so do not subscribe to this channel if you are not interested on any of this thing that we are doing here so we are not begging for you to subscribe only subscribe when you know that our content is good for you thank you